Hey guys, it's Angle Stats over here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the infamous ROM for the Galaxy S4. And this is the version that just came out uh, last night, the version 3.0.1. Uh, so far, I've liked this uh, ROM for the time that I've used it. And I'm going to do a quick overview of what's different about this one, aside from the other ROMs out there in XDA. So the first thing you'll notice, this is straight out of the box, I haven't changed anything. We have um, um, the weather panel, weather widget, uh, Google Now, and we have also the clock all the way in the middle. And as you can see, we have a different animation for the battery uh, notification. Other thing that you'll notice with this one is that it brings two cameras. It has a Samsung camera and the stock Google camera. This will allow you to this will allow you to take a photosphere and use all the settings from the Google stock camera. But I haven't had any luck with the video or the Google Sphere. I'll show you why. When I go ahead and select it, the the app crashes. I don't know why. Let me see. As you can see, it's not doing anything, and it says that the gallery has stopped. Probably we'll see an update about this, that the developer might change this, but I don't know why it's doing it at the moment. Also, we have a lot of different settings that I haven't played with, but I'm just going to go ahead and mention them. We have 3 minute settings, and um, this is the oh, this is for the... Um, I guess the ROM control said um, we can actually take the clock yes out of the center we have Bluetooth icon we can take that out <coughs> sorry about that and a whole bunch of settings that um, you can change and let's go ahead and see this and we can change the color for the, the battery color let's put that red and let's see if it does it immediately or we have to do a restart okay no it's right there it doesn't immediately it changed the color so it's very nice okay and then we can also change a bunch of stuff but that's very nice this is the wrong control as um, other other ROMs call it so we have the usual app settings as well <coughs> You can see all of your apps that are running and that you have on your phone. And if you click on it, you know, you can do, you can change a bunch of things in that app, which is very nice. Not many ROMs have that option. You also have Blackout Updater, I guess it's some, some type of update. You have to grind it. Mm. Yeah, but this just checks updates. I'm guessing for all of your apps that you have on your phone which is very nice and I guess it'll tell you what the new updates come with let's say it has DSP manager that's for the audio video we also have um, you know the usual settings for the phone like group play you don't lose any of that we have KT tweaker uh, da, 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 da. Apply scheduler, yes. I really haven't played with this, but I'm guessing change value, yes. This has to do with the internals of the phone, voltage, and here you can. I'm, I'm guessing you can overclock the phone, you actually can't, but you can underclock it. I'm guessing, uh, not bad. If you want to save some battery, that's what that's for. Let's see what else comes with this ROM. We have no touch exposed, and you know there's a bunch. If I if I get into it, um, which any every single one is gonna take forever. Trickster mod, this is to mod the phone. Uh, Twerp manager, that's you know the recovery. Uh, you can play with that while using the phone. You don't have to go into recovery mode. And X theme engine, that's to change the themes of the phone exposed in starter and x privacy so this ROM so far is very good i haven't had troubles with the samsung camera but with the google camera i have 
other than that this could be a daily driver for me at the moment um uh, we'll see about the battery life but so far I haven't had any problems I'm at 74% but I haven't charged my phone since the morning so let's go ahead and kill all the apps go in the notification and as you can see it's theme uh, like a light blue and it is transparent as well and what is this and um, that is a quick access to the multitasking and I want to check something really fast before I end this video and it, that is the multi window to see if we can use any app that we have and, and it looks like yes we can let's see yes we can I, I think we can use any app that we can we have Twitter right over here we'll go ahead and back out of this hmm that stop as well and my phone is not responding at the moment because I pressed it too hard Oopsie. again make sure that if you want to use this ROM you know you don't rely that much on your phone but overall it should be good you have watch on and the Samsung apps so this is my overview of the infamous for the Galaxy S4 this is for the T-Mobile variants of the Galaxy S4 and it's not bad at all I mean I like it I'm gonna be testing it out I gotta go to work later and we have developer mode and we're running on NDL which is very nice and doo -doo -doo, unknown, unknown. and as you can see it says right there infamous. so there you go guys I'll put the link below so you can download this ROM uh, very easy and all you gotta do is install it there's no google apps that you have to install it's already inside the ROM which is very nice you only have to flash one thing alright guys I think that's it signing out peace